my kitchen. So it's been a while since I piped some cupcakes, so I thought I would do another piping tips techniques video for you. So I have four different piping tips and I'm going to show you different ways that you can pipe these onto your cupcakes. Now for this week's video I also thought I would combine this with some pastel rainbow buttercream. So I'm also going to show you how to combine four different colours together to create some really pretty effects. Okay, let's get started. So I've got my cupcakes here. These are just vanilla cupcakes and I'll put a link in the description below if you'd like the recipe for those. I've also got my four piping tips that we're gonna use in today's video. My piping bag, the different colors that I wanna color my buttercream and my batch of buttercream. Now, this is just one bowl of it and I've separated this into four separate bowls. I'll also put a link in the description below for the recipe for this. And I've also got some cling film or plastic wrap. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is colour my buttercream. Now I want to go for the pastel shade so I'm just going to use some gel paste and this is just concentrated colour and I'm just going to mix this around and just keep adding until it's the colour that I want. I'm then going to go ahead and colour all the rest of my buttercream. Now for these colours all I'm using is the Wilton pink or the Wilton rose. I've also got the Wilton yellow, sugar flare grape colour just to make a light purple and the American color too. Okay, so now I've got my four colors. All I'm gonna do is prepare these so that I can pop them into the icing bag. Now to do this, what I'm gonna use is some cling film or plastic wrap. Now you can pop these colors into the icing bag and pipe the stripe on. I just find that it uses quite a lot of icing bags. So all I'm gonna do is just use a spoon for each color and I'm just gonna create a line just spread those out because they're quite even. And we want these to start roughly in the same place. So you create a line at one end. And all this is gonna do is make sure you get an even spread of the color right from the start. And I'm just gonna put vinyl color on there, which is the lino. And once you feel like you've got an even spread of those, all I'm gonna do is wrap this up. So I'm just gonna turn this on its side, picking up the two corners from one of the sides. I'm just gonna pull the buttercream over just until those four colors meet. I'm then gonna push my hand in those just so it creates like a sausage shape of your buttercream. And once you're happy with that, I'm just gonna keep rolling that. I'm then just going to twist my two ends and I'm going to prepare my first icing bag. Okay, so the first piping tip I'm actually going to use is the Wilton 2D. Now, I have done this piping technique in another video, but when it comes to pastel rainbow swirls, this is my absolute favorite one to use. So I really wanted to include this so you could see what the final result was. Now, the Wilton 2D just has this closed star top. So I've just got the plastic bag here and I'm just going to trim off the end of that and pop in my piping tip and just pull that down until it's time. Now usually we would fill that with the buttercream but we already have the buttercream in our plastic wrap. So all I'm going to do is just chop off the end and then just going to open up my piping bag and just really carefully slot that down so that it fits inside and all I'm going to do with the end of the piping bag is just wrap that around and close that around that end and then just going to lightly push on that buttercream just to pull it out of the plastic till it starts to come out of the end. Now, all I'm gonna do is just keep hold of the end of the bag with my right hand. Now, if you're right-handed or left-handed, you can just switch these over. And I'm just gonna use this hand just to apply a small amount of pressure to the end of the bag and use my other hand to guide the bag round. Okay, so for the first one, I'm just gonna do the classic rose M. So I'm just gonna start in the center of the cupcake with the piping tip at a 90 degree angle. I'm then going to apply pressure to the end of the bag and just work this around in a circle. I'm then just going to pull out slightly and just work that around until we get right to the edge of the cupcake. And as we get to the edge, I'm just going to release pressure and pull it away. So there is our first cupcake. And as you can see, you can see all four of the different colors. And just to finish this one off, where we have this end where we have pulled away, all I'm going to do is I've just got some sprinkles here and I've just mixed a few different packets together just so the colors match and just drop those just to hide that end and just make it look really pretty.
Okay, so for the next one, I'm gonna use this one, which is the 1F. Now, as you can see, this one is curved over, but we have a slightly different cutout. Instead of coming up to a point, it comes up to a flat edge, and you have this like M cutout instead of them just being single. So each one has double points. Okay, so I've got my buttercream in my piping bag and I'm just gonna take my cupcake. Now, all I'm gonna do is create a ruffled dome. So I'm gonna place my piping bag at a 90 degree angle at the top and I'm just gonna apply pressure to the end of the bag and squeeze fairly hard. Now, at the same time, all I'm gonna do is just move the cupcake around and they're gonna release pressure and pull the bag away and as you can see this creates this really pretty multicolored ruffle dome effect Okay, so for the next piping tip, I'm gonna use this closed star tip, which is the 857. Now, as you can see, it's got quite deep cutouts and we've got lots of edges on there. Okay, so for this cupcake, all I want to do is create a wavy swirl on the top of the cupcake. Now, I wanna start from the outer edge and just work my way round. Once it meets the other side, I just want to go in slightly. Now, this star tip has quite an open center, so what it will mean is the higher the swirl it will use quite a lot of buttercream so I'm gonna try and keep my swirl quite low so all I'm gonna do is place the piping tip on one side of the cupcake and as I work my way around the edge I'm just gonna move the piping bag from left to right slightly and this is just gonna create the wave effect and once I'm there I'm just gonna work my way in to the center and there we have our wavy swirl. Okay, so to pipe the last cupcake, I'm just gonna use this piping tip which just has an open circle end. Now this one is about one centimeter in diameter. So for this one, I just wanna be able to see all the different colors. So all I wanna do is place the piping bag with the piping tip just touching the top of the cupcake. Now I want to apply quite a lot of pressure to the end of the bag, but keep the piping bag still so it allows the buttercream to spread out. When I'm happy with how far it's spread out, I'm just gonna stop applying pressure and just lift up on the piping bag. So I'm just gonna push that out and pull up. And there we have this just really pretty multicolored dome on the top of your cupcake. the four finished cupcakes all piped with a different piping tip. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and will find it useful when piping your own cupcakes. If you'd like to see more piping tip techniques then don't forget to check out my other videos and I'll put a link at the end of the video to these. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you have then don't forget to give this video a like and if you'd like to see more videos like this then don't forget to subscribe. I'll also put a link in the description below to all my social media so you can follow me there. Bye!